Now let's move to our category collection view controller file. And what I'm going to do is clean up this file a little bit. So we're going to remove this part and then we're going to delete everything from our view did load, everything from our navigation. Then we have this uh, number of sections. I'm going to delete this one as well because we are going to have only one section. And here our cell, I'm going to delete this one as well. And for now, I'm going to just return UI collection view cell so that we don't have any errors. And this line I'm going to remove and let's just delete everything else. So basically we are left with three functions. The one is the view did load. And then we have our number of items in section and the cell for item at index path function. So uh, this file is going to help us to show all our categories in our collection view here. Because as you remember from our uh, last lecture, we have our categories on a Firebase and also we have this function that is called download categories from Firebase that retrieves all the categories from Firebase and then converts it into a category object because we are storing JSON data on Firebase. So what we want to do here is first to retrieve everything from our Firestore uh, which we are going to use the function we already have, then to feed this information to our collection view, that this collection view is going to take each uh, category and create a cell and show it in our collection view. So in order to do this, uh, we are going to need a variable here that is going to hold our categories that we want to show. So I'm going to put a mark here and call these vars for variables. And then let's create a variable and call this category array. And we are going to say that this is going to hold category objects in it. And this is equals to a empty string. So this will be the source of our collection view. So once we download all our categories, we are going to store them in our category array. So let's go to our uh, uh, file here at the bottom. I'm going to put a mark and this uh, we are going to say download categories. Okay, and then we're going to create this function that uh, we are going to use to download our categories. So let's uh, write the function right afterwards. So I'm going to say private func and we're going to give the name which uh, is going to be load categories. And this function doesn't take or return any parameters. All we are going to do here is to call the uh, download categories from Firebase, hit enter, and one more time enter. And we are going to call this uh, variable here, all categories. So this is what our download uh, categories from Firebase would return to us. You can name this whatever you want, just make sure you are uh, keeping it consistent. What? So you are keep, keeping the names of your uh, variables what they are actually are and then once we retrieve this information because this is going to be happening in the background once we have it we want to set the value of our category array whatever we receive so I'm going to say self dot all cate uh, category array is equals to our all categories so whatever we receive from here and then in order to show the information to our user, we need to refresh our collection view because remember this code happening in the background. So um, because we have to wait for the categories to be downloaded first. That's why we say self dot collection view. Dot reload data. So this will refresh our collection view once everything is downloaded. 
So let's uh, go up and after our view did load function, let's actually mark this so we have everything nice and clean. Mark view life cycle. Okay, and we have our view did load here. Then we are going to need a view did appear. So it's a view did appear function. And here we're going to call super view did appear. And we will pass the animated from here to our function. So we call the super class that our view did appear is ready. And every time our view appears, we want to load our categories. So we are calling this function. And just to see what's going on, what I want to do is I'm going to pr uh, put the print here, say print. And let's say we have all all categories dot count. And let's see how many objects we are going to get from our array. So let's run this. So the build was successful. And you can see here in console, it prints out we have 15 categories. So this is the, as many categories we have already saved. So our 15 categories are passed to our uh, category array and our collection view is being refreshed. So all our code is working properly, but we don't have anything visually because we haven't set up how many items we are going to show in our collection view and also what we are going to show in our collection view. So to fix how many items we are going to show is here I'm going to instead of returning zero items, we are going to return the number of items actually in our category array. So I'll say category array dot count. So this way our collection view knows how many items it has. Then here we are going to say let cell. So we are preparing our cell object to show all the category items that we want our collection view to display. And this is going to be equals to collection view, which we are accessing from here. And then I'm going to DQ reusable cell with identifier. And this comes from our main storyboard. Remember, we created this cell here that we are going to reuse. So we have this blueprint here and we are going to create over and over again. So in our case, 15 times the same cell. Uh, no, reusable, DQ reusable cell uh, with identifier for index path. This is the one we need. And our identifier, remember we called it cell in our main storyboard. So make sure whatever your identifier here is, so you can open the right panel, select the cell, open the side panel here, and make sure that your identifier is exactly as you are calling it, otherwise it will crash your application. So in my case itself, for index path, we are going to just grab the index path here and pass it here. And since uh, our collection view doesn't know what kind of collection view cell this is because by default it receives a default cell co from collection view but ours remember that we have designed our own way and then this is controlled by our uh, custom cell which is co uh, category collection view cell we need to tell our cell that this is as uh, category collection view cell. Now our uh, collection view knows that this is some kind of custom cell. And then finally, we are going to return this cell. So far, we are not putting any information into our cell. We are just telling what we are going to return and number of items we are going to return. So if uh, I run my application one more time, we should see some kind of visual uh, changes because now we have 15 cells to display. And now we have created 15 cells and our default cell has just a label on it, which is visible and then empty image view, which uh, we cannot see here because it's empty. And also we need to fix our collection view cell size, which we are going to do in our next lecture.